In the same group of the periodic table as carbon is the element silicon. And silicon has rather different properties. We have the gas silane, which has one atom of silicon combined with the four atom of hydrogens. This gas is more reactive than the methane that you saw. As soon as this gas comes into contact with air, well, the methane we needed to light, this gas spontaneously catches fire. So I'm going to add some acid to the container here. In the bottom, we have a funnel with a compound called magnesium silicide. And as soon as it comes into contact with acid, we get a gas called silane, SiH4. And any second now, we should see some bubbles forming. And the bubbles, when they come into contact with the air, I hope, should catch fire all by themselves. That's it. So this is silane gas. So it's, uh, we should get a few more bubbles coming up. And a few more, there we are, a few more flashes. That's it. Silane, SiH4. So this is silicon now in place of carbon. This gas reacts with oxygen to form water and SiO2, silicon dioxide. So this will carry on. Uh, we'll hear some crackles from this throughout the rest of the lecture as these gas bubbles come to the surface. Now, silicon dioxide that's being formed here is also known as sand. And sand is one of the things that we could use to put out fires. So sand could be used. We could also use water. We could also use carbon dioxide. Well, let's just have a